Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you a little bit about shutter speed, what it is, how it works and how you use it. This is a burst of fast shutter speed and this is one slow shutter speed. Let's have a look at this in slow motion and see what happens. The mirror raises up and the shutter opens and then the mirror comes back down as the shutter closes again. This happens in the blink of an eye. So I'm going to use this old computer fan to try and demonstrate how shutter speed affects your photographs. Shutter speed is a very powerful creative tool but you need to know how to use it properly to get the effects that you want. Hopefully using this fan you'll be able to easily see the differences shutter speed can make to your photographs. Spinning this fan with my finger I'm going to select different shutter speeds and show you how they affect this image. For the first photo I'm going to use manual mode and 1 2500th of a second to really freeze motion. You can see there the fan is tack sharp as though it wasn't even spinning at all even though it really was. For the next image I'm going to switch to shutter priority mode to enable me to keep the exposure good but adjust the shutter speed down to 1 200th of a second. So I'm going to spin the fan again and take another picture. You can see at 1 200th of a second I've still got a nice sharp image but the blades of the fan are now blurred and that conveys motion. This is brilliant for creativity. You can add an extra dimension to your photographs. The next one I'm going to go down to 1 20th of a second. This is a really slow shutter speed so let's see what happens here. You can see now the fan blades are completely blurred out. That really makes it look as though that fan is spinning fast. So you can use shutter priority mode to keep motion in your images but still get a good exposure because the camera changes the aperture for you. Now I'm going to change back into manual mode to show you what happens when you shoot with a really fast shutter speed but your aperture is not correct. As you can see you just get a pretty much plain black image. I'm now going to adjust the shutter speed to make it slightly slower which will let in more light. You can see the aperture there is staying the same. You can also see the exposure meter at the bottom is now in the middle. This means that the camera thinks this is the correct exposure. So we take the photograph and there you can see it's a good exposure. And now can you slow the shutter speed down even more so even more light's coming in keeping the aperture the same. You'll now see that the image is overexposed and you can see the highlights flashing on my camera there. You can see in the photograph all the whites are blown out and this is overexposed. I'm going to slow it down even more and we're going to get a really slow shutter speed and you can see that the meter has actually gone off the edge now. Here's a one second exposure. We can go all the way down 10, 20, 30 to bulb. 30 second exposure will give you this. Pure white, everything is blown out. If you get this you need to slow your shutter speed right down. On some cameras we have what's called bulb mode. This means that the shutter will stay open for as long as you keep your finger on the button. That's great for really long exposures. Now I'm going to quickly show you how adjusting the aperture can give you the correct exposure. I've wound the shutter speed back down to 1 25th and I'm adjusting the aperture to f20 to get the meter back in the middle. And you can see there we get a decent exposed photograph again because I adjusted the aperture to suit the shutter speed. Aperture and shutter speed and ISO form the basis of the exposure triangle. If you adjust one you need to change another one in order to get a good exposure. I adjusted the aperture to match the shutter speed and I can adjust the shutter speed to match the aperture depending what effect I want. If you want more information on aperture go and see my aperture video, links in the description below and in the annotations. I hope this was helpful guys, if you have any questions please just leave them in the comments box and I'll do my best to get back to you.